acquisition, you want to know where your traffic is coming from, right? So under all, tra so acquisition means how do you get site visitors? If I go to referrals, it's going to show me. So once again, the Kajabi app, which is probably my students, my members, I should say, Facebook, YouTube, more Facebook. So my referrals channels is more of a broader overview. So direct traffic, meaning somebody typed in the link, saved a bookmark, it clicked on a bookmark and came direct to my site. Again, my members. Social organic search, meaning they went to Google and they typed something and they found me and referral traffic and referral traffic would be again, like not your average grandma podcast sent traffic as a, re as a, a referral, pretty good information, right? We want to keep, keep on top of that. My content. If I look at all my pages, what, and this was on the homepage in, in a summary form, what are the primary entry points, first pages that people are landing on and visiting. So homepage, login, the promotion sales page, my coaching programs, the blog, etc. And you can see there, it also tracks the products. You can, again, there's tons and tons of data we can get into, but I want to talk about conversions because this is where Google really, really does trump Kajabi in tracking your results. If you want to track your conversions, so let's have a scenario of you have an opt-in that goes to a thank you page and you want to track your conversions. How many people land on the landing page, but then submit their information on a form and then they get to redirected to the thank you page. Access and landing on the thank you page signifies a conversion. You can create a goal and I won't go into a whole lot of detail because it's it does have a pretty good explanation of how you track this stuff and your goal can be conversions on my opt-in and it's going to say tell me the pages that you want to track. Well you want to track the opt-in page because you want to know the traffic that hits that opt-in and you want to track the thank you page and you identify the thank you page as where how you want to signal a conversion. So when you do that, anybody that hits that thank you page counts as a conversion. Same thing with a sales page. Now the fun thing with a sales page is you can track the dollar value of that conversion. So if you're selling a $497 course, and you can track them from sales page to your conversion page, whatever that is, you can track that not only was that a conversion, but it was worth $497 for you. Or if you have other statistics about the lifetime value of a customer, once they become a customer, maybe that $497 is actually more like $1,000 because you know that once they're a customer, they have a tendency to keep purchasing.